One year later, health officials are still trying to nail down exactly how and where the coronavirus got its start, which has taken our Remy and Asensio to the Chinese province of Yunnan. Swirling in the skies like a living river. Bats across much of Asia are believed to be lucky. They live very long. They are resistant to a lot of diseases, cancer, diabetes, heart disease. And China's Batman, biologist Lin Fa Wang, says if there's one point most experts agree on. The ancestral virus came from bat. COVID's closest known relative in the natural world, a 96% genetic match, was ID'd here in horseshoe bat droppings in 2013. In a copper mine in this hazy, rolling countryside of China's southwest Yunnan province. Our CBS News team searched for it, where six men contracted a novel flu like virus in 2012. Three died. Before we found that mine, we found this angry men shouting at us to leave. We've uh, just been chased off uh, away from where the mine is. These guys are proof that they're trying to control the people who go in and therefore trying to uh, control the information that comes out. What is the percentage chance COVID is man-made? Zero, because we don't have enough knowledge to make a SARS-CoV-2 virus from all the known existing bat viruses. China's top secret Wuhan Institute of Virology has been at the center of controversial allegations COVID was created in a lab here. The city was ground zero for the world's first known cases. But scientists say the search for COVID's origin should not be limited to one country. Bats don't recognize borders and neither do viruses. From here in remote Yunnan province, four Southeast Asian nations are less than 200 miles away. Vietnam, Myanmar, Laos and Thailand. Some bat species can fly 200 miles in one day. At Khao Chong Pran Temple, west of the Thai Kingdom's capital, Bangkok, millions of these flying mammals mesmerize tourists each sunset. They've also attracted Thailand's bat woman, Supapon Wacharapusadi. Since the pandemic hit, she and her team from the Thai Red Cross have sampled Thai bats for coronaviruses to determine how close they are to COVID. The similarity is uh, 91%, but we found it could not infect human cells. The people who collect bat dung in Khao Chong Pran's caves to sell for fertilizer are proof not one has tested positive for coronavirus antibodies. What we still don't know, how or where coronavirus jumped from bats to humans. More and more likely looks like a, a human infection that brought the virus uh, to Wuhan. Earlier this year, delegates from the World Health Organization visited Wuhan, but they've now scrapped their interim report after allegations China did not give them full access to all the data. Further complicating a mystery that could take years, even decades to solve, if ever at all.